Oh my god. Oh my god, it just exploded. What's going on guys? So today we're doing a spy video. Haven't done any really like spy stuff in a while, but uh, I was on the YouTubes the other day. I, di I did go down the rabbit hole, we've all done that. It's honestly probably how you found my channel. <laughs> now so I was probably about three hours deep, so I stumbled across this one video about gallium. So I've actually taken one semester of chemistry, <laughs> no big deal. So I'm gonna try and sound like I know what I'm talking about. So gallium is the 31st element on the periodic table and has a lot of interesting properties. It's very similar to aluminum actually. It has the same look, same number of valence electrons. We'll get to why that's important in a minute. But one of the most interesting properties about gallium is its extremely low melting temperature. Gallium is a metal and you think of metals as being very firm and tough and only melting at very high temperatures. But gallium's melting point is like 80 something degrees, which means it can literally like melt in your hand. So this means it's super easy to melt. You can cast it super easily, you can mold it. Yeah, it's liquid metal. Be a cool name for a band. Liquid metal. So it's pretty cool stuff to play with. But how is this a spy project? Good question, I'm glad I asked. As I said before, gallium has the same number of valence electrons as aluminum. So that means they're in the same group and that means they can actually form an alloy. So aluminum has a much higher melting point and is used in all sorts of stuff, generally because it's lightweight, cheap, and very strong. But if we bring it in contact with gallium, the two metals will react, forming an aluminum gallium alloy, making it much more brittle. So you can kind of think of this stuff as the aluminum melter. So what I'm gonna try to do is test this on some locks and some handcuffs to test if this is a viable thing that spies should be carrying. I'm also gonna try and make this into like some jewelry or something that literally would just look like a metal piece, but if it gets hot enough and comes in contact with aluminum, it'll melt it. So whatever you learned in this video, don't use it for anything illegal. How about that? Then we won't have an issue. Hashtag, don't demonetize. Thanks guys. So we've got a little uh, propane torch here and we're gonna see if we can Melt some of this gallium. Just gotta keep it on low heat. I'm gonna try and suck up some of this gallium in the syringe. Metal in a syringe, what? Liquid metal! So now I wanna see what this stuff can do to uh, a couple of locks. So we're gonna try an aluminum padlock and some aluminum handcuffs. Also, don't, don't ask where I got the handcuffs. As you can see, Normal functioning padlock, handcuffs as well. All right, first thing we wanna do to make sure the gallium really uh, bonds with the aluminum is scuff up this surface. You probably don't need to scratch it this much, but for this purpose, I'm just gonna go a little overboard. Now let's heat up some of this gallium. We're gonna try to apply it a little bit to this padlock. Seems like it's pretty stuck. But uh, I want to try and spread it around a little bit more. Hopefully get like a nice weld. So the reason you have to put the gallium on and then scratch up the aluminum is because uh, aluminum normally forms an oxide layer with the air. When the gallium's in contact with the aluminum, it disrupts that uh, and allows the two to bond and the aluminum becomes very brittle. Now we have to let the gallium and aluminum mix and then we'll come back in a little bit and see how we're doing. Guys, it's literally only been like one minute and already there's a crack in the aluminum, like I'm not even kidding. Oh, I don't really want to touch this because it's all, it's literally, it's like leaking through. At first I thought the gallium just leaked off the edge, but literally like it made a crack and then sunk through the aluminum. I don't know if you guys can see that, but like right there, that's a crack in the hole. That's not just a little trail of gallium, that's a crack in the aluminum. It all just came out the bottom. <laughs> Watch what happens when I put the gallium on top. It just sinks down right underneath it. Look at that, already forming crack. Perfect, all right, let's let this sit and see how brittle this aluminum actually becomes. So the plan is pretty much to do the same stuff for these handcuffs and we'll see uh, what happens. I wanna see if we can like indent this lock thing. That'd be sweet. Now let's do a little bit on this chain. I don't really know how this is gonna stay or if it'll stay at all. I'm gonna give it the best shot. Melt a little bit of gallium off, get it on there. All right, same as the lock, let's let these sit for a little bit and uh, see what happens. So the lock's been sitting for a little bit now. I can already see that the gallium's just destroying the aluminum, like this thing feels so brittle and I bet I could even like break it with my hand, so I'm gonna try and do that. 
There's a crack right down the middle there. Oh my god. I literally just broke open an aluminum lock with my bare hands. Wow. Wow. What? Chunks just peel off. This is insane. Oh my god, it just exploded. I'm literally holding this all together with my hands. This thing will crumble if I let it go. This piece itself just shot out. Let's try and just like crack this thing open completely. Now because it's freezing in the studio right now, I'm gonna have to add a little bit more heat just to get the gallium uh, up to temperature. One thing I learned is if the gallium solidifies, it, this won't work. Like you have to keep the gallium above 80 degrees. It's just, it's just gonna crumble. Watch this guys. Padlock piece already fell out and we can just, oh what? What is this? Just disintegrates in my hand. All the little pins and stuff. Disintegrated lock parts. <laughs> this wasn't affected because it was probably a different metal. Yeah, the rest of it, as you can see, very much affected. This is actually super satisfying to do, I don't know why. Yeah, so if you want to win a strongman competition, just get a little bit of gallium. <laughs> I wonder if this key would work still. Hey, oh, oh, the pins just fell out. I should have seen that coming. And now it will probably never open again. As for the handcuffs though, nothing much really happened to them. And that is because I don't think these things are actually aluminum. I put a little bit of gallium right there, heat it up a little bit. Yeah, it's not doing anything. So this is a pretty cool trick. And there's one other thing I want to do to make this like a real spy device. So if we come on over here. Uh, handy dandy part case. Open it up. I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these modules right here. So this module right here is a Peltier, uh, I'll put the word on screen, forget how to pronounce it. Pretty much it's a module that when you pass current through these two wires, it gets hot on one side and cold on the other. And if you apply a temperature difference between one side, um, you can actually generate a current from that. And because gallium is temperature sensitive, I wanna try and create like a necklace or something, maybe wear it like this, have a little bit of gallium on one side, um, and when you pass a voltage through it, the gallium will melt off and you can use it for whatever. But it will always remain solid because uh, we'll have the current flowing so this side will be cold. So I'm gonna test this out. I've actually got a thermal camera attached to my phone so we can see what type of temperature we're getting. All right, so it's super cold on this side. It's getting even colder, getting even colder. If we flip it around, you can see it's getting even hotter on that side. Got a solid 80, 81 degrees on that. You can see it's super hot. We're up to 117 degrees, which is more than enough to melt gallium, so in theory this should work. So I'm gonna show how this thing can melt and solidify gallium, but I'm not gonna show step by step how to build like a necklace aluminum melter because that is exactly how all of my other spy videos got demonetized. But this will give you an idea of how this thing will work. I'm gonna hook up the alligator clips, one to one side, one to the other. Oh yep, yeah, there we go, that's getting hot. Gallium's at 86 degrees, 91, 90, oh, it's at 108 degrees, so it should be liquid right now. Yup, and it's liquid. That is liquid gallium right there. Exactly what we wanted. All right, now let's try and freeze this. Again, you can see it's liquid right now. Switch to polarity, freezer back down. It's at 90 degrees right now when I'm starting it. I'm gonna connect the electrode. Yup. There it is, getting cold, just about all the way solid. There we go, re-solidified gallium. So another cool thing I wanna show you guys is if we take some of this like gallium and aluminum mixture we just made, and uh, we go ahead and dump it in water, it'll actually start bubbling and create hydrogen gas. You can see this actually if we grab a lighter and try and light some of these bubbles. You can hear that pop, that means we have hydrogen. Well, there you go, guys. That pretty much wraps up this video. As you can see, gallium definitely has some pretty cool spy properties. It can disintegrate aluminum, and when you mix the aluminum with water, it creates a flammable hydrogen gas, so. And best of all, it can blend in and look exactly like every other metal you might wear, like in a necklace or in a bracelet or anything like that. As I said before, though, don't use any of this stuff for illegal purposes. Like, don't go like melting locks or melting beams. If anyone wants to make a jet fuel joke, 
let me know down below. Gallium is some pretty cool stuff though, so uh, I will leave a link down in the description to that. Also comment down below what you want to see me do next. If you got any other cool ideas, let me know. Grab a shirt, fiction to reality, jlaservideo.com slash shop, link in the description. Helps on my channel, follow me on Instagram too as well. So that's all I've got for this one guys, take it easy, and we will catch you in the next video. Peace. Oh my god.